we're not seeing a decline um, in the number of people that we're providing service to. Those numbers um, are fairly consistent over several years. A Stats Canada report this week shows girls and young women are at highest risk of violence against them if they live in the territories Saskatchewan or Manitoba. The 43-page report says regardless of the type of violence, girls and young women subjected to violence were more commonly victimized on private property and of those who were nearly two-thirds were victimized in their own home. Marcy Wood is the interim executive director of Willow Place. She says, unfortunately, the high numbers aren't surprising. Willow Place, for example, um, is at or nearly at capacity most of the time. So last year, uh, we um, provided service to over 900 women and their children, uh, which equals to um, about 9,000 to 10,000 bed nights of service. These are police-reported violent crimes. They include human trafficking, criminal harassment, kidnapping, forcible confinement, abduction, and hostage-taking, and indecent or harassing communications. Wood says in many of these situations, women may be afraid to talk about it. It's not a privacy issue, but I think that that's how it's perceived to be, is that many people are ashamed to talk about it. Um, we know that it, violence is happening um, regardless of your social status, your ethnic background. Cities with the highest reported rates of violence against girls and young women are Thunder Bay, Moncton, and Winnipeg, in that order. Now, as for Winnipeg police, they didn't respond specifically to the 35% rise in police reported violence against girls and young women since 2009, but they did tell City News that no level of violence is acceptable. In Winnipeg, Rachel Crow Spreading Wings, City News.